everybody, this is Marulu and welcome back to Let's Play Outlast. Uh, we're on part 19? Um, I said something like that. Anyway, I'm hoping this is going to be the last part. I It looks like we're coming towards the end of the game. Uh, the place is covered with human bean juice and I haven't seen anybody down here yet, so... <laughs> made me jump. Shit. <laughs> No more jump scares, please. I can't handle any more. Oh, hey. If I... Oh, his eyes actually reflect. That's funny. Okay, I don't... Mm. The little things that I'm scared of and... Anything unusual? Squish. Squishy, squishy. Oh, you can hear it. That's yucky. What is it? Oh, it just has coffee on it. Okay. I keep getting these tickles in my arms. Piss off! Oh, file. Ugh, oh, big file. Project Wall Rider, postmodem preparatory report. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. My 14th autopsy of a Wall Rider patient is showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired, doubting my judgment, will submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far flung theories of a senile Nazi and moving towards or and move towards using a simple mechanical engine based on major sperm protein will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraint in a counterproductive manner. I'm proud of myself. I read through that almost that whole thing without stuttering about 50 times like I tend to do. Oh, this looks like an obstacle course meant for someone to run through. Let's put this down. I don't really need to record this. Whoop. Oh, jump. I thought I saw something move. Whoa! <laughs> uh, little jumpy! That looks like an exit. And happy daylight. But I think it's just kind of like a carrot at the end of the stick. What's through here? Morphogenic engine. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw on a few hours along with Dr. Wernicke's corpse. I feel like I owe him a debt. Oh, really? That's all? I could come up with that. <sighs> Fuck. Math is like my worst subject. Which is not to say I don't have a mind for mathematics, I just find it boring. It's creepy up in here! I don't like darkness! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Is it chasing me? I'm gonna assume yes! Oh my god, oh my god! Not looking back! <laughs> oh 
my goodness! Oops, notes. Death of a soldier. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on the concrete wall. <laughs> You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. You didn't hope? Didn't he chase you? Whatever. Oh my god. That was horrifying! Oh. That's gotta go down in like one of the best deaths I've ever seen. Like top five. <laughs> oh. Wow. So do I go back this way now? Or this way? This is the way I came, so I assume I gotta keep going this way. Oh my god. My heart can't handle blah, blah, blah. My heart can't handle much. Okay, so that's closed. That's closed. So I guess I gotta go this way. I hope that thing doesn't come back out. Doctor, or no. Um, fuck, the wall rider. I wonder if that has some kind of meaning in some other language. I can hear someone talking. Oh. Jeez. I know, I, I know. I am supposed to be dead. Are you? No, no such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. Billy. He takes Damn it, Billy! He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. <laughs> What this symbol represents. What symbol? I... The horns of a nano hazard. Oh, nano hazard. Microscopic There's machines. No Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Urkov discovered in my research a workaround. Turning the cells in the human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules. But through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Okay. Find Billy. I have to kill Bill? <laughs> I saw that door. This way. Maybe this way? Oh, cafeteria? Are those bullet holes? Because that's what they look like to me. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's a hand. It's camera. Somebody else had the same idea. I'm so waiting for something to jump out at me. This is so too quiet.
Go away. Worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology will be so far superior to us that the illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We are now blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Science, what have you done? Active? Oh, lock is active. Okay. <laughs> Let me in! Or out. It's a giant disco ball. Nope. The assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molly molecules vague memories of nanotechnology article i read online probably drunk probably distracted not nearly enough to know how to destroy it but billy is the center of it find him kill him in this kill bill i think that's another file over there oh god i thought i heard someone walking around oh that's my footsteps as i turn <laughs> Hey, are you Billy? From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Uh, he doesn't... I don't know, he doesn't look 50 to me. But, you know... I don't really look at too many naked men, if you know what I mean. Oh, hey, there's a man over here. Is that a patient? Why would there be a patient over here? Hey, guy. Oh, this must be like test chambers behind him. And this, I'm gonna guess is... Whenever I looked at like a staticky... Oh my god, there was like a, a puppet thing. Or something fucked up. Oh my god, whatever. It scared me anyway. Um, whenever you looked at the TV with the static, there was like images and stuff that you think you could see. I'm pretty sure that that, what you see on the TV now is what that was, but. That's my logical explanation. Another note. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. Hmm. Okay. You might have noticed I'm not stopping and looking at too much at this point because I am scared out of my mind. And I kind of just want it to be over. Oh, file.
From the personal records of Dr. Wendy Frankenstein, the modern Prometheus by Mary Shirley, and blah, 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 blah. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier the modest man than... How much happier that that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Grammar's making my head hurt. How much time we got? You know what? Let's just make this one last video. And... No, one more. Okay. One more. If you want to see the end, you gotta tune in for the next one. It'll be the last one. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out my channel for other videos I've done and tune in for part 20, which will be the last one. Bye!